Okay, let's understand something about the globe today. And I know you must have seen a globe either in your classroom or maybe somewhere else, at some shop. Now, basically, a globe is nothing but it's kind of a structure of the earth, right? It exactly shows you what is the kind of landscaping or waters that we have on the surface of the earth. Now I know this is a circle and uh, if we talk about earth it's actually not exactly a circle or a sphere because it's a little bit flattened towards these two sides. Okay? It's not exactly spherical but it is flattened on either of these two ends. And I'll come a little later in terms of what exactly these two ends are. Now if you will see these globes, these are actually not fixed. So you can actually rotate them. Right? And that can be done from west to east. So if I take about the direction, you can actually move it something like this. Right? And what exactly does the globe show? I mean, if you see a model of globe, what exactly does it represent? It shows you the landscaping. So let's say for example, you may have some of the continents or some of the countries which are getting reflected like this. Pardon me for my wrong uh, art, if I may call it. But the idea is, it will show you various landscapes which are there, various countries which are there of various shapes and sizes, and then there are oceans, these blue ones which are being represented. I mean, obviously in this drawing this is of no use because effectively it doesn't show what exactly the shape is, but if you go to a globe, the shapes and sizes of either the countries or the continents or the ocean which are represented there are kind of a miniature or kind of a replica of the actual landscaping which we have on earth. Now if you have to locate a particular point on earth, right, so let's say you want to locate India on this earth, you keep on looking around it, looking around it, okay, you'll see it this side, you'll see that side, you'll see that side, you'll see that side. So how do you exactly locate a point on globe? To do this, there are certain things. So there is a kind of a needle which goes through the globe, something like this. Okay? And uh, if I tell you, in practical and in real sense, there is no such needle which goes through the earth. But this is only when you look at a globe that you will get to see something like this. This needle effectively is what? It is basically called the axis. Okay? And the points through which it passes, let's say one on the top and one on the bottom, are the poles. The top one being the north pole. And the one on the bottom being the south pole. So these are the two poles through which the axis passes, right? This axis, as I told you, in reality, there is no such line, but it's an imaginary line which is assumed, right? So this is basically the axis. There is another imaginary line which is there. And this basically passes somewhere through this middle. And the beauty is that this line basically divides the Earth into two equal parts. Okay, and what is this line called? I know you might, quite a few of you might be aware. This is known as the equator, or equator as we may call it. Now the thing is, this is a north pole, right? This is the south pole. This equator defines or divides actually this earth into two equal parts. So the part which is there towards the north side, or if I just paint it, it is like this portion is known as the Northern Hemisphere. And can you guess what is the part which is the second one, which is the below one, what would that co be called? So this one. Obviously this is towards the South Pole, so easily I can call it the Southern Hemisphere. Now if I draw certain lines parallel to the equator, something like this. And these will going to circle it back somewhere around here. Right? These lines which are actually parallel to the equator are basically known as 
the parallels of latitude and basically the equator which we have over here is nothing but it represents zero degree latitude okay and then you have various lines which are drawn and the idea behind these lines is that let's say for example you want to locate a particular place now you keep on searching it around through the globe by defining these latitude what we do is let's say for example the total degree of latitude which we have over here is 90 degree so you have something like 20 degree latitude you have 40 degree you have 60 degree you have 80 degree and then you have 90 degree if I tell you that a place is at 80 degree latitude okay and then again the question comes up whether it is north or south if it's towards the North Pole it is 80 degree north 60 degree north 40 degree north 20 degree north so if I tell you that a place is somewhere at 80 degree north latitude then you immediately look at this section instead of going deep down here and there and everything so these latitudes basically help you to locate a place right the ones in the northern hemisphere are referred to as 20 degree north 40 degree north something like this the one in the southern hemisphere are written as 20 degree south 40 degree south 60 degree south 80 degree south something like this so these lines are basically parallel to the equator and therefore these are known as parallels of latitude the ones in the hemi northern hemisphere are known as north latitude the ones in the south are known as southern latitude we will learn more about latitude in one of the subsequent videos now once you know that a place lies on 80 degree north it can again lie anywhere right to fix how exactly where the place is located what we have is we have another set of lines which run from North Pole to the South Pole and these are known as longitudes okay so these run parallel from the North Pole to the South Pole and the advantage is again they also have a degree of their own so let's say if this is 30 degree longitude okay if I tell you that a place lies on 80 degree north latitude and 30 degree longitude then you can exactly pinpoint where exactly that line is and through the help of latitude and longitude you can actually locate a place on the earth we'll again learn more about the longitudes in a subsequent detailed videos the idea was just to give an indication of what these means I hope you would have understood this videos and enjoyed it as well thank you for being with us today